Daro guys, this is Durka, and welcome to something, you know, a little different. It's the summer. It's the day before July 4th, nice and powerful Independence Day. You know, I'm not home, so I can't really get up a blaze black. But uh, I wanted to make a video talking about the top five things, uh, you know, I recommend to do in your spare time. You know, or when you're bogged down by them heat haze days of summer, you know, and that little, it's a little uh, shout out to McCogg City Actors, you'll know what that is later. <laughs> Maybe you'll pick one of these things up, you know, I hope you guys do, that'll be great. If you want to skip to a specific part, uh, you know, one of the top fives, uh, each top five will be in the description, five, four, three, two, one, and the time they start will also be in the description. So if you, you know, don't want to see number five, want to see number three instead, you know, go ahead and skip to that part. But I am going to be covering each and every single one of them, and uh, yeah, so number five, Pokemon Showdown. So Pokemon Showdown, you know, this would probably be higher up on the list if it was not for the fact, you know, I was, I'm taking a break, a decent long break from Showdown, other than the fact that I uploaded a mediocre mon today. Um, but yeah, Showdown, Showdown is a great way to spend a lot of time. You could just, you could either make a team, battle with your friends, or battle up the ladder, or you could just, you know, enjoy yourself random battling. I won't get much into Pokemon Showdown, just because, you know, you all probably know about it. But uh, warning for those of you who aren't that familiar with it, uh, the rage is real. <laughs> the rage is real. Alright, now number four. Number four is the Binding of Isaac. Yes, the Binding of Isaac class, you know, other Steam indie games, I guess. Um, but the Binding of Isaac is the one I use because it is a great game to pass the time. I burned shit ton of hours playing this game. I completed this game completely. <laughs> uh, so basically the story of this game is to just, your baby... Your mom's tricked by the devil into thinking that she has to kill you because the devil disguises, like, pretends he's God or whatever. So you jump into the cellar, running away from your mom, and you have to make your way down. The, you have to keep going down to this, down through the cellar until you make it to your the, your mother's heart, and you kill her. Yes, you kill her, and then you you after after you kill her a certain amount of times, you unlock her heart. You don't, you kill her foot, then you kill her, her heart, and then you can choose to kill Satan. <laughs> choose to kill Satan if you really want to, which is <laughs> Yeah, but sadly, there's a little, you know, a couple fucked up things in this game. Like, maybe if we can find, I'll start it up, I'll start it up. Maybe we can find a mob that is a little fucked up in this game. There are a shit ton, I'm just saying. Oh, fuck, I wasted the HP. But, uh, you know, there's stuff like, oh, I got shit, but there's stuff like, uh, babies with freaking, uh, flies in their head, and when you blow, when you kill them, they explode and the flies come out of their brain, that's really fucked up. And there's stuff like babies with bombs inside of their head, and they just blow up whenever you. Yeah, it's kind of fucked up. And this is Meat Boy. It's made by like I think it's, yeah, it's made by the same guy who made Super Meat Boy. So you know, if you dig Super Meat Boy, you'll probably like this game too. It's really well made though. You can get past all like you know the you know the fucked up. It's supposed to be a you know, as you can see by the art, it's not supposed to be like you know taken seriously, but it is a you know great game. It's a great game. So you know, if you're about if you're about this life, you know, let's just see what we can get here. See, I got flies flying around me, and uh, I got money. I got money. But yeah, if you're about this life, I suggest this game. This game is great. You know, that's why it's number four on my list. So uh, yeah, not bad, right? Not bad. <laughs> not bad. Okay then, let's get let's get moving on to the next one. Number three, and yes, welcome to number three. Number three is YouTube. Yeah, that's what I do in my spare time. I do spend a lot of time on YouTube. Um, as you can see, I do watch Pokegame, King Nappy, others are in the Nexus, Sacred Fire Negro, a lot of the big Pokegames, I watch a lot of them. Because, you know, I learn from them, from their battling, from their playthrough, that's, you know, see what they do, you know, try to, like, adopt that into my stuff. But, you know, don't think that I only, uh, you know, <laughs> I only look at big Pokegames, I look at smaller Pokegames too, so I starting people starting out. People who aren't, like, you know, a million subscribers, or, like, you know, 50,000 subscribers, maybe a couple hundred, maybe a thousand. You know, for example, I, I watch uh, Bice Productions. Uh, Bice is a great battler, so, you know, it's fun watching his battles because they're all good quality battles. He also, he does, mainly does Wi-Fi battles, so, you know, it's, I always, it's always nice to love watching Wi-Fi battles over Showdown battles, in my opinion. Though Showdown battles are easier to do, and I can't do Wi-Fi battles until I get my capture card in a couple, in like a week or two. But, uh, yeah, you should check out Bice Productions, he's really good. There's also Hermosaur. I, I actually got into Hermosaur recently, but he's, he's really funny to watch, he's fun to... He does a lot of stuff. He does Nuzlocke, he does Showdown, he does Wi-Fi battles, he, has a, he does Wonder Cup, he battles some, uh, 
battles uh, Hayden sometimes, and that's always fun to watch because Hayden just adds to his funny to Hermit's so already innate funniness anyway. But uh, yeah, I mean those guys are two people I watch a lot too because you know they I respect what they do. They do good work, and uh, I learn I, I learn from them. I learn from everybody. But uh, yeah, I mean not much. I guess not much else to say about YouTube. I know it sounds derpy that I am a YouTuber. And I spend time on YouTube, of course, but, you know, it does, it's, um, it's number three. It's number three. Okay, okay. Number two. Manga. Manga and webtoons are big. Big on me. I'm big for me, at least. Um, you know, some of you might not know. I don't talk about it a lot in my videos, I guess, but I am addicted. <laughs> addicted to manga, webtoons, anime, all of it. But this one is just manga and webtoons. Um, so, let's, let's, let's go into, like, why. <laughs> why I'm addicted to manga webtoons. Um, I don't know, I just got into it like, you know, years back, you know, maybe like seven years back, and six, six, seven years back, something like that. And, uh, you know, it just stuck, it just stuck with me. Because I just enjoyed what, you know, I'd rather read a manga than read a book, because it had pictures, I guess, I don't know. But, uh, oh, sorry about that. You know, some people say manga, but I think it's pronounced manga, that's why I say manga. And, uh, you know, if you, if you guys want, need a recommendation, I've, I've read, like, I personally read, like, over, you know, a few hundred, few hundred manga, so, like, if you, if somebody wants a recommendation from me, you know, give me your genre, or I can just give you one of my top manga, hopefully you'll enjoy it, you know, but, uh, maybe I'll make an Ask FM page about, like, you know, if you guys have questions about that, but, uh, anyway, let's get into, let's get into why, that's, like, how, alright, I'm, well, not even how, uh, what, I guess, <laughs> What is it, like? What can I do to explain how I'm addicted to manga? Um, everybody knows One Piece, right? One Piece, as you can see right here, is at 752 chapters. I didn't say 753 because it says 753 spoiler. This is a predictions forum page. It said 752. When it was at like around 450, I read 450 chapters in one day. I woke up early in the morning around like 6 a.m. and did not stop until I finished it. I sat there and read all 450. 50 chapters. I mean, I went through it pretty fast just because, you know, it was One Piece. <laughs> it was One Piece, uh, so, and I watched the anime, so, you know, mm, I kind of already know, I already kind of already knew what was happening, so I didn't have to, like, be like, huh, I'm confused, what is this? I just knew that, okay, so this, this is, like, the end arc, the end the Sky Pia arc, so this is supposed to happen here because that happened in the anime, and it happens in the manga, and blah, 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 blah. But, uh, yeah, manga's, like, really important to me. It's a great way to, if I have, like, 15 minutes to burn, you know, I'll spend that 15 minutes reading like a quick manga or a webtoon. As you, I have to read this, this, and this actually. Gamer got a high school in Hajime no Ippo. Oh, nice, uh, nice thing to note right there. <laughs> not bad, not bad at all. But uh, yeah, so then we have webtoons. Webtoons are basically the Korean version of manga. They're like Korean online manga, except instead of a page by page, they're more like a uh, strip. They're a vertical strip. You read it down. But if you go on a manga website, they usually have it in a, you know, they cut the strips into, like, pages. So you can just, like, keep clicking it and it's, like, turning pages. But, you know, they actually come as, you know, a vertical strip. You know, two pre pretty good ones I can, you know, say on top of my head right now is The Gamer. God of High School is okay. Uh, Tower of God. Tower of God and The Gamer are, like, my, two of my favorites. Gamer is more comedic. God of, uh, the Tower of God is more epic, I guess. So, you know, if you guys have time, you should check them out. They also, they're also all colored. Webtoons are always colored. So if you're not a fan of you know manga because it's not there's no color, which not, I don't think it's a good reason, but you know, but if you aren't, uh, I suggest reading a webtoon. Those two are pretty big, Tower of God and The Gamer. And uh, yeah, so also I could I could recommend well, <laughs> webtoons too if you want. Yeah, maybe I'll, we'll make that Ask FM page. I'll think about it. I'll think about it. And um, yeah, that's all I gotta say about manga and webtoons. Number one. Number one is anime. Yes. You probably saw this coming, but, you know, it is. It's number one. Um, to put it, you know, to put it into perspective, there's an anime called Gintama, if you guys have heard of it. I'll look at, uh, look, it's over there. It's at, it has 276 episodes. Back when it was, like, 220 or 200-something episodes, I read that, like, I mean, I was, sorry, I watched that in, like, less than a week, I think. Yeah, that was crazy. I, I watched that all of it in less than a week. I would wake up, turn it on, you know, take a shower, Put my headphones on after I come out, of course, of the shower, <laughs> and uh, just sit down and watch it. Just sit down and watch it. This was like years back, though, like three, four, three years, three years, three, four years. Ah, uh, those are good times, though. Gintama is an amazing anime. It's, it's, 
It's got a great mix of comedy, action, epicness, and just general and just the you know feels. It's got everything, everything I would need in a manga. But uh, ugh, anyway, anyway, let's just go into not manga. I meant to say anime. But uh, yeah, as you can see, like 200 something episodes is like 100 hours. So you can see how addicted I am to anime. Like last season, you know, I'm, there, there was two anime that just blew me away. No Game No Life was the first one. It was just beautiful. It was amazing, amazing anime. And number two was Mikako City Actors. It was good. It was just good. The animation was amazing. Well, the animation was pretty good, except for like one part. But yeah, the animation was great. So was uh, everything else. It was just it was just well done. It was just a well done anime. Those two, and you know, same thing with manga. If you guys need, I've, I've watched a lot of anime. I'm not gonna say hundreds, but I watched. Uh, actually, yeah, maybe hundreds, maybe hundreds of anime. So you know, if you guys need a recommendation for anime, I got you there. I got your back. I got your back. Just give me your genre. <laughs> and you know, anime is a better pastime than manga, just because you know, during the summer at least, during the summer, during a school year, manga is better. But during you know, summer, anime is better. And this is pretty much about the summer, because we're in the summer right now. Um, the reason is because anime takes 25 minutes, as I said before, and manga takes five minutes. So if you have more time, you probably have more time to burn, so you'd rather spend that time, you know, doing some more stuff. So that you might finish uh, a manga and be like, oh damn, I still have like, you know, an hour to do anything for it. But you might like, be like, fuck, fuck, I have to do something now, but I'm only on episode like seven. There's like three episodes, there's like five episodes left. So yeah, anime just keeps you more in it, I guess. In it, if that's a good word for it, I'm not really sure. Um, but uh yeah, anime is anime is pretty much my number one favorite thing. If you guys didn't know, I'm addicted. I watch this. I watch seasonal anime all the time. This season, I'm actually looking forward. I mean, I read this Tokyo Ghoul manga. I'm looking forward to the anime. I'm gonna have to watch it later. Um, but I know there was something else here. I heard some. I heard Rail Wars might be decent. I'm gonna watch Shirogan 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 no Ishi. I watched the first episode actually, already. Um, and uh, yeah. That's pretty much uh, that's pretty much it for the number one spot. I don't want I don't like making too long videos, and this video has been going on for a little while now. I don't think it's gonna be longer than like 25 minutes. Hopefully not. But yeah, guys, this you know this pretty much works wraps up uh, Derek's top five things to do in your free time during the summer. I made this video you know so that you guys can get to know me. I want you guys to like be feel comfortable. Feel comfortable. That's the word. Feel comfortable around me. Uh, you know, you just like comment, subscribe. You know, just talk to me on Twitter. I don't even care if you're a commenter or a subscriber. If you just want to talk to me on Twitter, that's perfectly fine. I want to get to know like my viewers, especially the ones that have been like supporting me for the, like the longest time. Um, I want to make myself seem you know approachable. I don't want to be like one of those people who like they put up videos and you watch them, but then it's just like, oh damn, I don't know if I want to. I don't know if I can talk to him. You know, he might seem like he might be scary or something. I don't want to seem scary. I hope I don't seem scary. But, uh, you know, I want to thank Vice Productions because I saw his channel intro video and he mentioned this and I was like, he's right, he's right. I want to get to know my audience more. I don't want them to feel like, you know, estranged from me at all. So that's why I did this video. So shout out to Vice. Thanks for the, thanks for the, like the eye opener, man. Um, that your video really helped me just like think, <laughs> help me think. So, um, yeah, you know. You know, feel free to leave any questions in the, you know, in, in the comment section. Uh, just, I mean, like, I'll answer all of them. They could be personal questions. They could be about the channel. They could be about anything. I'll do my best to answer them, I guess. <laughs> Hopefully it's nothing, like, you know, too far gone, but, uh, you know, whatever. And, uh, but anyway, you know, there's not much else to say. So, peace.